toolbox tour. Uh, first off, I just want to point, this is my go bag for building maintenance. Uh, doesn't have everything, but this is, you know, primary hand tools and whatnot. The rest of my stuff is in my locker at our other building, but this is uh, what I take home with me when I'm on call for doing building maintenance. So just nut drivers and screwdrivers and bits and adjustable wrenches and pliers, uh, voltage detector, thermometer, paint markers, pen, uh, pens, levels, tape measures, you know, just the basic. Uh, think of home maintenance, basically the same kind of stuff in here. Um, I, I am HVAC certified, so uh, the, th the thermometer and my gauges, I don't, I don't carry my gauges with me uh, all the time. They're in my locker because uh, they're expensive and kind of sensitive. So I don't want to be throwing them in and out of the truck uh, unless I really, really need tools, them. but I always carry my keys and a good knife. That way I can get to everywhere I need to at work. Um, also have a couple spares on here in case I forget these and personal keys for home and the truck and everything else. Mechanics gloves, don't really use these for working on cars. Um, I know there's kind of a divide between mechanics on wearing gloves when working on vehicles. Uh, I tend to only use these when I'm taking out the trash or it's really cold outside or you know picking up something that's heavy or maybe has sharp edges. So I don't really use those for working on vehicles. I've got a few different sets, but like I said, they're just, it's not my forte. Uh, this guy, not normally on my toolbox, but it's here because I was using it, um, doing some chains, some wire, stainless steel lock wire, anti-seize, brake lube, uh, paint markers for marking timing and alignment of parts, PVC, uh, fin brushes and fin combs. This is kind of a catch-all for, for junk. Do things on the outside of the box, magnet trays, magnetic flashlights, paper towel holder, which is empty at the moment, uh, nitro glove holder. Again, I don't normally use gloves, but I have them just in case. Tool cart. Pads, that way if you have to be get on your knees or lay on your stomach for something, a little extra cushion. Uh, water spray bottle, if you're using acetylene torch or welding, you catch a boot or some grease on fire, that kind of deal. Put it out before it burns up. Med kit. Uh, a few of my chargers for a few different electric tools. I keep my Milwaukee in the office with the charger in there, so that's not on the box. Uh, let's see. This is normally on my box or on my tool cart. It's uh, just a spray bottle, compressed air for uh, brake clean. Go over the top drawer first. I think it's pretty typical layout for at least mechanics I know. Generally the top drawer is reserved for sockets because it's usually a deep, heavy drawer, you know, double slides. So uh, it's kind of weird that a lot of your heavy stuff goes in the top drawer, but it's just the easiest one to access and it's right on top and it's deep enough for your deep well sockets. So in my drawer, it's pretty typical. Got a bunch of different kinds of ratchets. Uh, I do have a few favorites. Also, I have an air ratchet in here, tiny ratchet bit set, uh, tape measure, used a lot when you're doing exhaust, at least that's what I used it for, you know, uh, specialty sockets, oil cups, O2 sensor sockets, various larger sockets, miscellaneous sockets, uh, a lot of these are spares, crow foots, uh, special uh, security torques, stuff like that, and adapters. Uh, this is an Allen set, Allen socket set. As you can see, seems to be the most used. Uh, it's for John Deere chain oil. 
Some more spare sockets, Pittsburgh. Swivel, snap-on, short, 3 8 metric. 12.38, uh, shallow on deep. Metric and standard. Obviously, there's a few missing there. That's kind of why I got spare sockets laying around. Favorite ratchets. Uh, hate to be a fanboy, but probably snap-on. Those are the snap-on ratchets that I have. I also really like the Matco, the swivel head. Uh, this is the long one. These are the extra long. They're about two feet, I believe. I've got two of them because they're one of my favorite ratchets to use. Uh, brake caliper bolts and everything like that if you can't get an impact in there. And I honestly like to do a lot of work by hand rather than power tools and impact. Air ratchet. Uh, half inch stuff, three eighths, quarter inch. Uh, I really like these. These are made by Easy Red, but they are, this is the Cornwell rebrand. Here's the actual Easy Red. Uh, this was a dual head, just like the other two, but the head broke. Uh, instead of getting it warranted, I just cut it off and made it into a long sole head ratchet, which has a lock on it, I forgot. Oil filter tool, kind of goes along with the oil filter cups. The Toyota specific ones I have here. Uh, these are primarily Ford. Uh, like I believe this is Ford Taurus, and these are Ford and GM truck, if I remember right. I don't really use them very often. I tend to use this style because it's universal. Uh, I keep my long pry bar in here. It's really the Easiest, longest drawer to keep stuff in. These are more oil filter sockets. Uh, primarily used on Caravan and Equinox and newer vehicles that have the cartridge style filter. Uh, metric shallow swivels. These are Matco brand. Uh, some more 12 point. Uh, Torx. Adapters. Universal joint adapter, e torques, pulling studs, uh, swivel standard deep universal joint, uh, 916, most common size I use. Uh, and these are half inch impact and some non impact, but who really gives a shit? Use the chrome on the impact anyway. Missing a few sizes in there, but uh, they're not very common sizes, or I'll use. For instance, 3 8 for these smaller sizes. We'll go next to the skinnier drawers. This is kind of the catch-all junk drawer. You keep just a little bit of random stuff in here, sometimes manual pamphlets, electrical tape, uh, lock tight, lock thread, knife, magnets, uh, tungsten carbide scraper, Random fuel line, adapters, headlamp and strikers, uh, valve stem tools, shader valve tools, nail clippers, <laughs> pens, multi tools, mini test light, mirrors, some stickers, levels. It's just kind of a catch all drawer. I think every mechanic's kind of got that junk drawer where they just kind of throw stuff like flashlights and everything else, super blue. This is a little bit of a specialty drawer, I suppose. Oil filter wrench, serpentine belt tool. This is the gear, gear wrench version. Uh, the gear wrench, low profile, uh, through ratchet socket set. Uh, don't, very, don't use it very often, but when you need it, they can come in handy and save you in a pinch. Uh, Torx T handles, uh, Allen wrench set, super scraper, small one, made in, made in Iowa. Uh, Torx, triple square, uh, 
uh, especially on Toyotas uh, and Volkswagen. Persuasion drawer. Hammers, air hammers, got two of those, files, punches, uh, pickle fork is in there, CV axle tool, punches, impact drivers, uh, nut splitter down there. Kind of a box drawer. Bearing and race setting tool. For stuff like that, you don't need to buy anything expensive. Buy the Harbor Freight shit. Don't buy the tool truck, $200 version. Uh, small slide hammer. Be kind of redundant to keep the big one in here. And the toolbox, that is. Uh, bearing separator polar set. Try to keep that stuff clean so it don't rust up. Uh, this is a caliper tool for the twist style type calipers. That one I bought Matco because I wanted one that I could get warranty. Tap and die set. This is kind of a used and abused set. It's pretty fucked up. Probably need to replace that soon. Uh, that's a fuel injection kit. Uh, I'm not really gonna open that one because it's kind of bulky. Uh, keep them in the boxes to keep everything organized. Otherwise, you'll end up starting to lose stuff. So we don't want that to happen. This kind of fits in there nicely. These are the middle drawers. Uh, metric wrenches, primarily. I keep uh, stubbies and the small ignition style ones. They're kind of just scattered all over the place. Um, not really whole, whole sets here besides the uh, Daikon ratcheting and the Matco ratcheting. Uh, I don't really have snap on besides this 21, which is used a lot, or I used to use a lot doing suspension work keep a lot of spare wrenches back here cheap cheap brands you can buy for like 10 bucks a set that kind of stuff that way you can cut them torture them bend them make specialty wrenches then throw them away if you need to oh and line wrenches max standard drawer also keep some allen keys in here and uh, belt wrenches or, yeah, I guess you'd call them belt wrenches. Uh, adjustable wrenches. Brake line wrenches. Or, I guess, line wrenches in general. If I can open the damn thing one-handed, which I can't. These are a pretty unique tool. They're nice because as you're turning it, it pushes on this tab here and, and tightens it up. If you can kind of see springing. So, those can be very handy. Again, don't use those very often. Uh, don't really have anything special here. They're just kind of Craftsman and other shitty brands. I don't really use Standard very often. Screwdriver drawer, primarily. Uh, Keep some pry bars and uh, seal pullers and lady slippers, as I call them. I, I, there might be another word for them. Picks. Got a couple sets of picks here. Snap on Harbor Freight, probably. Uh, Mac. Nut drivers. Uh, plastic rivet removal tools. Got kind of a variety of, of gunk and different brands in there. You know, these are the old style snap on nut drivers, which you can't even see where it says snap on on it anymore. Here, let me grab a different one. Oh, another thing in this door. 
caliper hangers. If you don't have a set of those, you might as well buy them. They're, cheap. They're handy. You don't have to use wire or anything. All right, plier drawer, kind of a unorganized chaos. For instance, that's not supposed to be in there. Vice grip, other brands, Cornwell, Snap-on, uh, PT, Cornwell, I already said that, I think. Nip-X, Easy Red. These are the out of sight needle nose. Uh, these are the hose clamp pliers on the cable. Just kind of a variety of stuff. I do keep a couple sets of these snap ring pliers. They're kind of junky ones. There's also more adapters back there for them and tips. See another set of those out of sight pliers for, from Easy Red. A little bit of a specialty drawer here, mainly electrical and diagnostic, I would say. Compression tester, uh, fuel injector tester, hydraulic tester gauge, and the adapters for that. Uh, Pittsburgh dial indicator. Uh, I, I can't justify. I don't use enough to, to buy a good quality one. That one will do the trick once you when you use it twice a year. Small detail files. Um, these are thread repair tools. I think they call them thread combs or thread bars. Uh, infrared thermostat or thermometer. Battery cleaning brush. Caliper. Feeler gauges. Battery alternator starter tester right here. Another super scraper. Uh, caliper pressing tool. Antifreeze tester. Uh, stethoscope. Some more brushes down there. Uh, that's uh, this is my clamp type tool for making custom wire uh, hose clamps. Tire depth gauge. Brake depth gauge. Uh, Loctite kind of glue stick variant. This is a Mac test light and spark tester, spark plug tester, and another test light down here. Power probe, voltmeter and clamps, terminal connector disconnect and some pins for some wiring project I was working on. These are some small brushes I use for wire terminals and possibly torch tips and other stuff like that you can use them for. Uh, let's see what else I got down here. Don't really use those very often. Nice when you're working on small parts though, so just to have. Uh, Bolt extractors. I normally just weld them out, but I have those just in case. Bomb drawer is another drawer, which is filled with boxes. Got my stool. Snap on digital tech series wrench. I don't leave the batteries in it. Don't want the batteries to corrode it. Uh, this is kind of a unique tool. This is a grease fitting, grease joint rejuvenator kit, master kit. If I can open it. So you fill this up with oil, backside here, and you put it on your greaser, smack it with the hammer, and it, it shoots the oil through and rejuvenates the joint from any metal shavings or rust or debris, uh, grease that's thickened. That is the master kit, I believe. Yep, master kit. Uh, this is ball joint, tie rod end tool, uh, wheel hub. And 
That is the master adapter kit for it. So it just has different size cups for different applications uh, to complete the set. A couple of Silver Eagle spare socket set down here. Uh, it's great to grab it. If I gotta go, then I gotta do something on the job site. Polars. High rod ball joint separator. Tire repair kit. Forward front axle, uh, vacuum seal, put the vacuum seal on front axle, stub shaft, and then press it into the housing with that. Torque wrench, gear wrench, half inch flex head. Uh, inner tie rod tool, which you guys have probably seen those, I don't really need to get that out of the box. Anti-marring, body panel, master tool right here it's got all the different sizes and pulling body panels half inch impact or quarter inch torque wrench uh, service disconnect for transmission fuel lines oil lines brushes trying to get everything back in the spot the middle section. Drill bits, 90 degree and straight grinder. This one I normally use with roll lock discs. Step bits, uh, deeper, got more deepers in here. Keep them in the cases when I, I try to at least. Uh, another big step bit, cutting oil, cutting wheels, different adapters and extra screwdrivers and bits. Kind of just a various catch-all. Get my stool. Sawzall blades, impact driver, drill, uh, mini sawzall. That's where that blade came from that was in my flyer drawer. 90 degree air drill. Another quarter inch air ratchet. This is the air cap version, which uh, a lot quieter than the Ingersoll Rand. Half inch impact, three eighths impact. Hammer drill, uh, three eighths impact. I don't know if you can kind of tell the size difference. That's why I have both, plus this one I had for many years. This one employer bought me, so. That's kind of why all my electric tools are mismatching brand, because some of them I bought and some of them were work provided, so I'm not gonna complain and bitch that they're different brands. There's also a spare batteries sometimes in here, as you can see. Another bit set back there, and grinder, battery grinder. Pretty simple. Like I said previously, I keep some of my chargers and spare batteries up here. Don't keep the Milwaukee out here though, that's in, uh, in my office. Tool cart. This is where I keep my 3 8 six-point sockets because they're what I commonly use the most, I would say. These are the flank drive extensions from Snap-on. So they have a wobble. Or maybe they call them wobble pluses. I, I don't remember the terminology. A quarter inch, six-point. Spark plugs, adapters, I guess I should say spark plug sockets. 
uh, air gauge, half inch air impact, another oil filter tool because I use that a lot. Uh, the max set of three eighths, uh, medium and deep. I keep uh, a Vera three eighths ratchet in here. I like it because of that swivel head and that ring there. So you can turn it into basically a nut driver. Keep an extra striker in here and a quarter inch ratchet. This is the icon. First drawer, the icon, anti slip wrenches. Keep a set of those. Uh, pry bar, gear wrench, wrenches, the flex head ratcheting. Various pliers and screwdrivers and my lock ring pliers. Uh, I keep the full set in here. I keep my wire strippers in here for the most part. Uh, plastic rivet removal tool, just various Cornwell and other brands of wrenches or pliers and screwdrivers. The bottom, I keep it pretty empty right now. I'm doing some reorganizing. So there's a antifreeze gauge. There's an electric grease gun and then another service disconnect tool for transmission and fuel lines and oil lines. That's pretty much it as far as what I keep in my toolboxes. And I went over this just briefly. I also have another tool bag and a tool locker at my main location or the main campus, I would call it. And I also keep two toolboxes in my race car trailer. Uh, Porta Power, I keep here. It's kind of heavy to drag around. Uh, scan tool, Solus, kind of an older version. Uh, more power tools set. Another charger, vacuum bleeder set. Another polar, and that's a pickle fish set, and uh, electric sawzall, and just various other stuff that I might use around the shop or parts. Drill press. Uh, I keep some wire and sandpaper here on the workbench, as well as uh, a couple torches. I also keep a couple spare box of gloves for. When I'm greasing bearings. I guess that's where I keep my oil and spare filters and green Rolox and RTV and O-rings and butt connectors and wire connectors and cotter pins and that kind of stuff. Grease circs and brake line fittings kind of stuff ratchet straps pull straps jack stands jack uh, my two welders settling torch training jack they call this a high reach jack it's uh, basically to stabilize when you're dropping heavy components out more jack stands windshield washer fluid, parts cleaner, floor dry, gotta have a fuck, I go through a lot of floor dry, uh, oil catch, I also use a scaffolding a lot to lay on it when I'm working in the engine bay, I drop it down to the level of the hood and use that to lay there, oil barrel, oil filter, various oil pans and buckets I use for that over here I keep spare belts windshield wipers some paint grease uh, some spare oil back there uh, different cleaning products brake clean carb clean battery cleaner and protector grease spray grease uh, air tool oil that kind of stuff down here kind of lubes and other cleaners PB blaster, 
sea foam uh, differential lubes. Down here, I just keep a variety of basically John Deere oils for our tractors and our skid steer. I guess one of the tools that I should really touch on are two is uh, my bend pack extra high, extra wide hoist. And I also have a chain hoist that slides across the shop. So you can use that to pick motors out and stuff instead of a cherry picker. Even though I do have a cherry picker in the back there where I am storing all of our spring and summer equipment. with the air compressor back there and floor dry. Another small workbench, this one we use for sharpening lawnmower blades. Grinder back here as well. Some more spare parts and small components for Kubota and John Deere primarily and Boss Plow. More blades down there, need sharpened. Keep a lot of manuals and stuff in, in that. This is kind of a, the roof leak, so this place kind of got destroyed, but I used to keep toolbox and a lot of spare tools here, as you can see. Pretty nasty from the roof leak. The wall's deteriorating, but some odds and end wrenches that I can cut up and bend to make special tools out of. And, used to hang my uh, big wrenches and pipe wrenches here and I used to have chargers mounted here there's still one here although it's not hooked up because the, the wall leaking this was a box that I was gonna make for on the job servicing on the road haven't really completed it or even got started for that matter uh, test light top gun for our TV fuses and spare bulbs and random nuts and butt connectors and stuff probably won't end up using that though also keep some spare bulbs in here headlight tail light regular household bulbs also keep another allen wrench set here but it's locked up can't get it open Right next to my vice, my workbench. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a clusterfuck, but it kind of gives you an aspect of uh, where I work and how I work. Dysfunctional and disorganized as it is. Also, got a bunch of storage up there, spare tools and junk. So. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Almost forgot in this drawer on the back side here is where I keep my extensions. Other than those snap-on wobble extensions, so.